All right, so in this in the previous section we just had up here, uh, the means were based on the number of individual brand sales each day. All right, so just think about that. When I look at all of this data, right, so I'm looking at this test. I do want to open up DF test. When I look at this data, it's this particular brand, right? If I if we had sorted this by sales date, I probably have a number of sales on July 10th. This just happens to be brand 100, right? If I look at July, let's see if I can find a couple of brands that sold. So I've got July 4th, 17th, right? I got 8th. Is this a pretty popular? That's not a very popular brand. Let's see if we can come up with something. Okay, so that's not very popular. Okay, so here's something that sold. This is Mendoza sold on July 1st. Here's something else else that sold on July 8th. I have some July 8ths up here already. So what this is giving me is, is each brand and all of the different brands and every single day's worth of sales. So do we want that to be the mean, right? Because that we're now we're taking that and dividing the sum of all that stuff by how many observations we have per each store. So let me just put previous section means were based on the number of individual brand sales in each day. What if the real question was the mean sales per day, right? So it's not just all these little sales. Maybe I you know, maybe there's a, a reason why it is different, you know, but I really want to know every day that I have all of my sales, not just all the individual brands, all of my sales per day, is there a difference? So in this case, I might group first by sales date and then execute the above analysis. All right, so it's another level of grouping that I want to put in here. All right. Okay, so let's put in another cell and we're going to go DF test one. We're going to do that query, right? want to get store the data from store equals uh, 34 and 76 so put my bracket in there beautiful okay and now I'm going to group oops we're going to call this grouped date okay and I'm going to say DF test one group by and here I want to group by store and sales date. So I'm going to do both groupings. Okay, so this is the grouping with the date in there as well. Now we'll go DF summary date. We're going to use grouped date. That we just defined above. We're still going to do sales quantity, sales dollars, okay, and we want to just do a simple aggregation of the sum okay all this is going to do is it's just going to give us a different data summary to then go in and analyze all right so let's run this to where we are at this point in time and just see what we got so 
DF summary date. Yeah, didn't like that. Let's up oh, there it is. Yeah. DF summary date. So I've got each sale date, I got the quantity, and I got the sales dollars for all of store 34. And if I go down, I'll also see store 76. So I've got each, so it's a smaller date, it's a smaller data set, right? And I've got the sum of the quantities and the sum of the sales for each of those dates. Now I can do the next test. I'm going to throw in a, another, another uh, cell because I don't want to rerun what I just did. Now I'm going to create grouped two. And this is going to be DF summary date group by, and now I'm going to group it by store. All right. So now I'm going to get different means, right? Because now the, the, the deflator is how many ever dates I have versus all those hundreds of thousands of, of observations of sale by day and brand. Next, I'm going to create DF summary two, All right? And this is going to be, well, you know what? It's going to be this entire, it's going to be all of that. It's going to be the exact same analysis, but I'm using grouped two. So all of this is the same. Everything that I did up here, it's exactly the same. All right, and unsurprisingly, all of this is going to be the same, except it's going to be DF summary two. So I'm going to paste all that, and I'm just going to add the two to all of this. Okay, and I'm hoping this all works. We're gonna find out, all right? So this is gonna give me a completely different measure. It's gonna give me, because it's, it's now a different basis of calculating the means and the standard errors and the standard deviation. So let's run this and we're gonna get DF summary two. Where is DF summary two? We got two by 12, right? Which is what we expect, so we've got our sales quantity, mean, some mean, standard deviation, standard error for both sales quantity and sales dollars. But we're really interested in our test variables here, upper and lower. Now you notice, right? The average quantity of bottles sold in store 34 is 4,068.66 bottles. That's the upper, right? We go over, back over to the means, right? Number of bottles sold, right? Per day. 3895 3366 that's the average number of bottles sold sales dollars about 2. Point, you know, about 2.4 million dollars 2.1 million dollars i think that's what it was or maybe that's 24 million dollars no that's the sum we want the average the mean is $68,000 a day versus $59,000 a day right if we go back to df summary and look at those we're looking at sales quantity 3.3 .3 bottles per brand by by day and over here as far as the mean sales dollars $58 versus $50 right this analysis I think makes it makes maybe more intuitive sense to the decision maker because now you're talking about sales by day versus sales by brand by day totally different you know it's a harder thing to get to get your head around so let's take a look at our differences here and we can see our upper and lower between store 34 and store 76 don't overlap. They appear to be a little closer maybe, but it's still not overlapping. And again, this is, they're close, but still not overlapping. So even, even with this new way of calculating the means, store 34 is clearly selling more 
for more dollars than store 76. All right, so we can look, go back to our script here, put in some closing comments. So we can look at the upper and lower values for sales quantity and sales dollars and see that store 34 each day is selling more bottles for more money than store 76. The next level of analysis is asking why. Yeah, you just told me that the water is wet. Store 76 is not as good as store 34. And what is the CEO going to ask? Why? What's going on? Are they located in different counties? Um, does store 34 have higher priced inventory than store 76? Um, are they located, do they, do the, where there is their location have higher income individuals? This, right? These are all the why questions that follow. This is what brings your analysis. This, this is what is meant. I'm going to put it all in capitals. This is what is meant by data analytics. Data analytics is not just learning Python. and claiming you're a data analyst. It's the questions in how to come up with a logic to answer those questions and then use the right tool. That's what makes you a data analyst. So don't just focus your attention on how to do all this code because you can Google this. The hard part is coming up with the questions.